Sup y'all, I'm Jordy, and I'm bringing you today a team with a very bulky Archaladon and a Curse Glastrier. Uh, the story behind this team is I was hunting for a shiny Duraludon, and I ended up with a Duraludon with the Blizzard Mark. So this is an, a shiny Archaladon the Shivering. Uh, and because of that, I decided to do something a little different with it uh, and go for a snow team. Uh, and so this is a very bulky team. Uh, Ninetales sets the Aurora Veil, and Cineroar uh, can lower damage with Parting Shot and Intimidate. Sinistra can heal up pretty much anybody. And then I also added Glastrier. Now, Glastrier got access to Curse in Regulation F, and I thought it would be pretty cool. Uh, this Glastrier is min speed, so after one Curse, it actually gets slower than Torkoal. Uh, so if they want to try to mess you up with that, you can probably Oko them at plus one. Uh, and then I also have a Suicune on this team, just to finish out the Firewater Grass core. Uh, and it is also very bulky, uh, so with screens up, it can probably get a Calm Mind or two, usually. And with Sinistra's support and Incineroar's support, there's plenty of room to set up Calm Minds with this team. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoy, and let's jump into a few battles. Alright, our first opponent has Iron Crown in DD Psy Spam with Chiyu Urshifu. Iron Hands and Blood Moon Ursaluna. Uh, it looks like Indeedee is their only Trick Room setter on that team, so I'd be curious to see what way they go. Um, to get around Psy Spam, our Chaladon can obviously take that. Incineroar can obviously take that. I could set up screens, uh, but that would risk going down to a steel move. Uh, Chiyu is a little threatening. Uh, Urshifu, I don't know which one that would be. I would assume Water here. Uh, so Sinistra is a must, just because of that. Um, Sinistra can also reverse Trick Room. So I'm thinking, can Glastier sweep or can Suicune sweep? I'm liking Suicune a lot here. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely bringing in Cineroar. That's mandatory. And I think I'll lead it with Archaladon. I don't see anything in their lead that can take that su down super well. Uh, Sinistra in the back, and Suicune as the sweeper. I'm not bringing much damage because I'm not bringing Glastier to this one, but hopefully this works out. Um, the fact that I have Glastier might discourage them from going for the Trick Room mode anyway, but we'll see how it goes. Now if that Urshifu is in the lead, I'm going to have to swap Incineroar out pretty much immediately. Uh, I, I don't want to go for a fake out into it and have Indeedy swap in and then immediately lose Ensign. So who do we got? It is just Indeedy Iron Crown. Okay, that is amazing. Uh, are th <laughs> Iron Crowns always have a plan for Incineroar. So I do feel a little concerned about that. Uh, it would typically be either... Uh, focus Blast or Helping Hand. I didn't see a Booster Energy. That's probably Life Orb then. Life Orb, Terra Water, Terra Blast is a little bit scary. Uh, I might go straight into Sinistra and start snarling everything down with Archaladon. Uh, just because I'm a little bit afraid of what might be coming in here. So I'm, I'm just going to do it. I don't think they're going to expand the force on the first turn here. Uh, and on Terra Water. No, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, yeah, but Snarl should be great here. Slow them down and get the damage in when I can. Alright, Sinistra, welcome to the field. And it is Helping Hand. Are we going to catch a Focus Blast Whiff? Or are we going to... Oh, it's a Volt Switch. Oh, okay. Well, I took that very well. I'm happy about that. I'm surprised by that. That wasn't life orb either. That implies specs to me. I didn't do much damage though. Choice specs. Okay, no wonder they wanted to get out of there. And that is Urshifu Dark. Oh, that is the... Mm. Sorry, Zanistia, you are not in the best position right now. Okay. And indeed he went for... Helping Hand Volt Switch is a little weird. Okay. Is... The Incineroar swap in so obvious that they would just go for it? I don't think so. I would be surprised if they 
predicted this this early in the match and just went for a fighting move onto my Sinistra. So I'll bring that in. That'll help our Chaladon take any moves that this thing wants to dish out. And then if I get my body press up to plus one, can it KO? I don't think so. Dragon Pulse might be a little better. No, I'll go for the body press. I'll go for the body press. Just in the rare case that there's actually a swap into Crown, but that doesn't seem to be happening. All right, get this Urshifu down. I do not want to take a full power close combat. And um, they are helping handing. That might be close combat. Oh, jeez. No, it's just a wicked blow. Onto Incineroar. Doesn't even take half. Beautiful. And it's a crit. No, it's always a crit. And body press does about half. Okay, that's good. That is good. Whew. Okay. Now it gets a little bit harder. Uh, do I think my Incineroar can take a close combat? No. Uh, do I think they will just take the close combat when Sinistra could come in at any time? I don't know. Uh, I do think our Chaladon at this point can take any hit. So I might just swap back out to Sinistra. And... Fire off another body press. If they do end up hitting me, my body press will be stronger. And then I could cycle my Incineroar back in later. I do need Incineroar healthy to take on the Iron Crown after all. So even if they read this really well, it's probably okay. Alright, just to follow me now, are you going to give me a boost or are you just going to whiff? You're just going to whiff. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. I hope you don't have a rocket helmet. You do have a Rocky Helmet. That's great. Okay. Uh, at this point, I think what I'm going to do is... They know what I'm going to do. There's... Is there a chance they Wicked Blow my Sinistra now? I don't think so. I think I'm going to go for the Machigasha. And if they do go for the Wicked Blow... Sinistra will go down. But... Hey, you gotta... You gotta... Can't make a cake without breaking a few eggs, you know what I mean? A helping hand boost. Helping hand wicked blow into Sinistra actually makes sense. But it's into Duraludon. Yes! And we live it. That's awesome. Okay. Urshifu, you're gone. And that did do more than the body press, I think. Or at least the same amount. <laughs> Alright. Threat number one neutralized. We know they still have Iron Crown. Incineroar can handle that pretty well. Uh, I would like to get some more health on my Archaladon if I can. Uh, there's no guarantee that's ever going to be allowed, though. And that's a Chiyu. Chiyu is very scary. And my answer to Chiyu is, well, Suicune in the back with Calm Mind can sweep up this game now. That's a fact. Uh, so I need this Sinistra to stay alive as long as possible. I could even Trick Room if I wanted. The rest of my team is slower than the rest of their team. So yeah, I think I will Trick Room. And if they get greedy and they go for a Dark Pulse onto Sinistra, thinking Heat Wave won't do it here, or if they miss, I think a Snarl is better than taking out the Ndidi. I don't I'll get some value. I don't want to just take out Ndidi if that situation happens and let them get two threats on the field. So here we go, Sinistra. My favorite Terra for Sinistra because they give you one of the wild and you don't need to spend any shards on it. It's very nice. And it's a helping hand. Oh, jeez. This is going to hurt Sinistra even through the resist. Oh, that was nearly an Oko. That might be specs on that thing, which is terrifying. Okay. Ooh. Now that that's finally gone, I could, I could go into Incineroar, but I think they're preserving their Terra because they are Ghost Terra. So Suicune is the one.
And then what can Sinistra do here? I could swap it out to Incineroar. I don't think that would be the worst. I can get a fake out turn in. And then just boost with Calm Mind. That would let Sinistra get out so it can come back in to give someone the hospitality. And I definitely need the Calm Mind boost to take these hits from Chiyu. Um, there's a chance they reverse the Trick Room with their Ndidi, but that wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. Because I would have a fake out turn. And the plus one on Suicune, which is the win condition. After seeing what Chiyu did to the other water type, I don't know if Suicune <laughs> is feeling too great right now, though. And Chiyu is the swap. Oh. That I did not anticipate. Is this possibly a resetting of Psychic Terrain with Skill Swap or something? That would be the most interesting play here, I think. No, just reversing Trick Room. Okay. That's fine. I think that's perfectly fine. I will let you reverse Trick Room. I will fake this thing out, and I will call Mind a second time. I don't know how many Call Mines it's going to take to Oko and Iron Crown, but I don't think... Oh, yes. Fully commit to that. Still not using their Terra, though. Unless Urshifu did? No. They're really holding on to that. I wonder what they have. I guess if they were going for a Volt Switch there, there was no reason for them to be concerned about... Flare Blitz, so they might not have Terrid there. Uh, Suicune is now at plus two, which is great. Um, I don't think there's any way I'm going to get up another Trick Room. So... I think I'll try to do some damage to this thing, and just protect. My guess is they're going to be going after Suicune here. And if they try to Volt Switch, I will catch them, because they... <laughs> They won't be able to swap out. Okay. Okay, a hard switch from the Ndidi. They want their terrain back later. That is fine by me. Helping Hand would have boosted more than the Chiyu's Beads of Ruin here, but... Now, if they're going after Incineroar, that's a little bit bad. Oh, it's Psy... Oh, they have Psy Shock. What? That's a pretty weird thing. I would think you would just have Expanding Force and three cut. That's an Oko! Okay, Crown, bye! Show me it was Specs. It must have been Specs, right? Scarf? What? I have never seen that. That surprises me a lot. Okay. And now we've got Ndidi. The Chiyu. I don't know what it wants to do. And I don't really care what it wants to do. Because what I want to do is finish off the Ndidi, and Scald it. And they want a helping hand. They want to Oko Suicune in one move. And they didn't get it. And I have Inner Focus, so I do not flinch. Plus two Scald, and that is game. Still, they never used their Terra. I think any Terra there would have been advantageous for them to use. Maybe not Fire. But then they would have used fire earlier and gotten the Oko on Sinistra. Oh, let, let's have a little snack before we celebrate this victory. Yeah, ha have your victory berry, Incineroar. I did not know it worked in that order. But alright, that is the power of Suicune. Let's jump ahead to uh, battle number two. All right, we've got match number two. Match number one was Suicune's show, uh, but hopefully we can get Glassbeard to do something in here. Uh, we've got Whimsicott Terrakian, a combo. We've got Chiyu Fluttermane as a combo, and we've got Tatsugiri Dondozo. Uh, I don't think Dondozo has a great matchup into my team here, if I'm being honest. So I'm most worried about Terracot and Chiyu Fluttermane. Uh, so what would my answers to that be? Incineroar does pretty well into the Chiyu Fluttermane, but not so well into Terrakian. And against Terrakian, Whimsicott, I don't have Redirection that can work because Sinistra's Rage Powder won't affect it. 
Uh, I do have Fake Out, but they typically have plans for that. So I think my best bet is to just... Uh, Suicune is quite bulky and can probably take any hit from that Terrakian. Incineroar is probably the way to go just to force them to Terra. Presumably they'd be Terra Ghost. So I'm thinking those two are pretty good. And they can handle Chiyu Flutterwane decently as well. Um, I would like to have Sinistra just in case Dondozo is there. Uh, and then is in the last slot. Our Chaladon is okay. Glastrier is okay. I think it's Glastrier. I'm going with Glastrier. Hopefully it can work out. Hopefully we can uh, get this going. Uh, this team is very reactive. Uh, my opponent is going to be having all of the offense, and I am just going to have to take it and retaliate. Uh, if they get lucky with flinches, if they get lucky with crits, uh, well, there's nothing you can really do. This style of team is weak to that. So we've got we've got Terrakian Whimsicott as the lead. All right, Incineroar Suicune, let's see what you can do. All right, do we get the Intimidate on the Terrakian? No, it is a clear amulet Terrakian. Oh, that's scary. Okay. Would their Terrakian be Terra Ghost? I think it probably would. But I have to keep him honest. Is it worth terrestrializing my Incineroar here? Probably not. I think I should just go for the fake out into Terrakian. And a Scald into Terrakian? is not a good matchup here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to go for. Alright, what's your plan for this? Upper hand. Oh, That's a spicy move. Okay. Uh, but you did not terastalize, so it looks like I'm going to get a Scald into you. And you just set up Tailwind. That is fine by me. This Scald will do a ton of damage, and it will burn? No, it won't burn. That's okay. That's okay. You can't have everything. Uh, now it's such low health that I think it thinks Suicune is a big threat. Uh, I don't know what their plan is to handle Suicune. They could beat up close combat into Suicune. Uh, but if they did that, then they leave my Incineroar free to get a hit on their minus one defense. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to Flare Blitz them, and I'm going to Scald them. And that pressure is going to keep them from doing what they want to do. Alright, they do go for the beat up. A plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four Rock Slide is not going to take out Suicune. Incineroar will go down to that, but Suicune cannot flinch. Close combat into Suicune. They don't have a boosting item. I don't know if that would take it out. We'll have to see. And it is just Rock Slide. Okay, it double connects. Suicune takes it breezily. Will not flinch. And Terrakian is gone. Okay, I consider that a fair trade. And I can get some health back on this Suicune. Leftovers, a Protect turn maybe. And bringing in Sinistra. This Suicune got away with it. Thank you, opponent, for not terrestrializing that Terrakian. I'm sure any Terra you had would have made that a lot more difficult. My last opponent didn't terastalize at all either. I don't know. Maybe the Terra button is broken. Okay, now we've got a Chi Yu on the field. That is also very scary, especially if they have Sunny Day on that Whimsicott. Uh, beat up, Tailwind. Do you have room for that though? Um, I am a little frightened of that Chi Yu. I have no swaps. I can only Terra. So it, Sinistra has to be the Terra now. And that is fine. If Chiyu goes down, there's nothing Glastrier needs to Terrastalize for. So we'll Terrastalize, and I think Trick Room is the way to go here. Yeah. And then... I don't want to be pressured by that Whimsicott using Encore, so I think I just want to Ice Beam it now. I, I think the Chiyu terastalizes. Yeah, here it is. Alright, the Chiyu will terastalize. 
and we'll get show me like water oh it's fire oh they're going for death if that is specs and that is fire and if this is a sunny day she you cannot take that heat wave are they going for heat wave here i don't know but if that's what's happening i'm scared It is a sunny day. Alright, Chiyu. Let's see what you can do. If you can Oko both of these water types, you can just have the win. You're too strong. And they both take it. Quite breezily. Uh, Sinister gets the burn, but that's okay. I'd rather it be on him than on Suicune. And our Ice Beam does a huge chunk. Okay. That's excellent. Alright, if you have Beat Up, and Sunny Day, and Tailwind... You don't have Encore. I'm no longer worried about Encore from you. <sighs> but Life Dew isn't going to get me out of this range. I need Chiyu gone. Or, if I let something go down here, I could get Glass Trigger in. I could heal up my Suicune slightly. Bring Glass Sphere in when Sinistra goes down in Trick Room. Don't give them the... Yeah. Leave the Whimsicott in so they don't get momentum. Sinistra is supposed to go down here. And then Glass Sphere plus Suicune double up can definitely take out the Chiyu. Okay. That's the plan. That's what I'm going with. <sighs> yes. Drink up this life, dude. Suicune, my job is to keep you healthy. Alright, now it would be a little bit awkward if uh, Sinistra dodges this heat wave. Or otherwise hangs on. Uh, but it did well over half the first time, so I don't see that happening. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. And no prankster moves from that Whimsicott. And the Chiyu went first. This should be Moonblast. Energy Ball. Oh, that's a little bit worse, but that's okay. That is okay. I do not think an energy ball would take out my Suicune from here anyway. Now that Chiyu's item, I am unsure about. Tailwind Peters, that's okay. I'm way slower than you anyway. And it is time for the Ice Horse. Alright, in the back, they definitely have Fluttermane, which is perfectly fine by me. These two can handle the Fluttermane, and three turns of Trick Room is great. So I want to high horsepower, and I want to Scald. Yeah, we cannot afford Chiyu to get a move off. If they have Protect, they Protect here. I don't know if they have it. They might be Choice. They are not Choice Scarf, though, because we saw them go before Whimsicott under Trick Room. And they're thinking hard. If they're thinking hard, that means they're choice. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, they must be choice. High horsepower. Leaves them on one. They were Sash. Oh, thank you, Suicune, for the double up. <laughs> oh, sadly, that means Glass Gear will not be going to plus one from that. And we will be taking an energy ball now. But I'm hoping Suicune can just eat that up. Eat it up. Ooh, beautiful eat up. You might take the next one. Wow. Good job, Suicune. All right. Does that mean we double Fluttermane? No, because Suicune isn't going to do any damage to a Fluttermane. It's a speed-boosted Fluttermane. That is good. That means the sun does not come into play. Uh, two more turns. I think what I want to do is get a boost off this Whimsicott. Would high horsepower knock it out from here? I think I have to Icicle Crash. Hmm. Better off to Ice School Crash the Fluttermane and just Ice Beam this thing. It cannot protect. The Fluttermane might be able to protect, but if I get two hits off of it. 
Yeah. It protects. So I will get one guaranteed double up into that thing. So I'm happy about that. And if it has protect and it's getting a speed boost, it can't be that strong. What is it? Timid fairy feather? I would expect Glassgear to be able to take a couple hits from that. Now, can the sun be done now? I would like to be using Scald instead of Ice Beam. There is one more turn of sun. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to get one. Icicle Crash is the only play here. And Ice Beam is stronger than Scald just because of the sun being up. It can't get the freeze chance because of the sun being up, but it'll do a little bit of chip. Calm Minding here would have no purpose. They would be able to take out Suicune with a couple Dazzling Gleams, I'm thinking. Unless they're very, very weak. They go for the double protect. That That's fair. You don't know I can't Oko you. And I missed the Icicle Crash! Oh, that is bad. That is really bad, actually. Um, I don't think they're in KO range from an Icicle Crash yet. Do they have booster? Yeah, booster speed. That's fine. Go ahead and waste your item. I am so slow. I have 30 speed. Uh, that means the Calm Mind might have... I did not expect the double protect there. Well, congratulations. You got out of Trick Room. Icicle Crash. And now I can Scald. The sun did end. All right, horse, please don't miss again. Moonblast does well less than half. That's beautiful. We can afford, that might be range now. And with the burn, mm, beautiful Suicune. Glastrier, get a KO. Thank you. It is about time. <laughs> and so yeah, that's another example of what this team can do. Just be too bulky. Your offense can't do enough. And I will slowly take you out. All right, let's do one more. I'll see you guys in match number three. All right, we've got a match for you here, this time against classic Extreme Speed Spam. They've got Chen Pao, Dragonite, Entei. They've got Water Ogre Pond. They've got Raging Bolt, and they've got Flutter Vane. They have tons of priority, and I have nothing that shuts down priority. So that's not good. <laughs> um, but it'll be fine. Uh, we've got... Nine Tails could be pretty good. Uh, it's not that great against an Entei lead. I do expect an Entei lead here. Um, Glastrier is amazing. Uh, just ice moves and ground moves together hits everything. Um, our Chaladon can definitely take some hits as well. That might be the thing to do on the lead. Our Chaladon. Uh, Nine Tails could. I do think I'm fast here. 177. Yeah, that'll be faster than Entei. So I can definitely get up my Aurora Veil if I want it. I want Glastrier for sure. And then the question is if it's worth bringing Incineroar when they have two fa three fake out immunities, a potential Terra Ghost on Chen Pao, and only one thing vulnerable to Intimidate, and that's the Chen Pao. I, I guess Ogre Pond is too, but it's just going to crit an Ivy Cudgel. Uh, then in the last slot, Suicune can take a hit, Sinistra... Uh, Sinistra can do some redirection, but not of extreme speed. But I think the healing will be valuable. And it can redirect Raging Bolt's Thunderclap if need be. So that's what I'm going with. Raging Bolt can be a problem for me sometimes on the ladder, so I'm glad I brought both of my ice types this time. If you don't bring super effective damage for that, it will just take a hit and then go crazy. That's my kind of mind. Okay, they do the double extreme speed lead with Entei and Dragonite. Uh, we're putting up the snow. And are we going to set up Aurora Veil? Vale? Because we are going to get hit by a Sacred Fire for our trouble. Um, I do think that our Chaladon can take anything they want to throw at us, even a double up. Um, and Veil vale will be up by that time anyway. I could just throw a Dragon Pulse into the Dragonite. <laughs> But I want to soften up the Entei. I want it to be in high horsepower range. So I'm going to go for a Dragon Pulse into the Entei. And I will just set up Veil with my Nine Tails. That will help me take on this hyper offense. Alright, they're going for the Terra immediately. 
It's got to be on Dragonite defensively. They have, I have an Ice type and a Dragon on the field. I didn't even go for you, Dragonite. I know you're going to Terra Normal. Who doesn't Terra Normal their Dragonite in this position? Let's be real. Uh, I don't think that they go for the extreme speed. Are they double extreme speeding, hope, hoping Ninetales will go down to that combo? They're not. Okay. I get my Veil, and your Dragonite basically wasted a move. Entei could have taken me out anyway. And Entei doesn't even care to take me out. Entei wants to give me a defense boost. And don't burn me. Beautiful. That is fantastic. Okay. Now that I have a defense boost, I think I will be going after that Dragonite with Body Press. Just chip everything down. And then Ninetales... Ninetales... While it did its job already, I think I can stall them out a little bit more and get more damage off with our challenge. So I should just protect. I don't want to swap into a stray Sacred Fire. That Dragonite did feel Choice Banded to me, so I don't think the Entei is. It might be a Salt Vest, because it also took that Dragon Pulse very well. Yep, just an extreme speed into Ninetales, that's fine. I'll bring in Sinistra next turn and let you whiff that. And then another Sacred Fire into Archaladon, which will do even less, but please don't burn me. Though it'll be neutral damage now if I get burned and at plus two. Nope, just a plus two body press. Woo! Alright. Now, who do I want to hit next? Archaladon's going to get some health back from the Sinistra swap in, so it will be pretty safe. And do they have a swap in for body press? They do have Fluttermane, potentially. I... I think I will go for a flash cannon into that, that slot. But it might be more important to damage the Entei. Yeah, Dragonite being locked in to what it's doing is actually better for me if I put Sinistra on the field next to our Chaladon. I'm swapping, but I'm going to swap before the Dragonite anyway. It's not like Flash Cannon was going to Oko the Fluttermane swap in if I went for it, so. No, they just stay in extreme speed. That's best case scenario. Now, don't Sacred Fire my Sinistra. Okay. Uh, we're now at plus three defense. And finally, he gets the burn. That's fair. This will still do more damage than neutral. And that's good damage at that. All right. I love it. Alright, well now you gotta think there's definitely a Sacred Fire going into Sinistra. Do I want to Terra Water my Sinistra in this match? That would make it weak to Raging Bolt, but everything else it's great against. Uh, do I want to Terra Water my Glastrier instead? That would, other than Entei, no. Entei's the only thing that really threatens that, so I think I will just go for it. I will Terra Water Sinistra. Dragonite has to swap out now. And I will just go for another body press into Entei. Terra Water. And set up the tricky room. Not attacking Dragonite on purpose. Well, it's swapping anyway. It knows it has nothing to do in here. Except it could have totally extreme speeded me because I'm Terrastalizing. And Flutterbane in here. That is fine by me. Show me a speed boost, please. Yes! Alright. Now against these two things, with life do every turn, I don't think these two can damage me anymore. They're going to be struggling. The Entei, if it's choice, will literally be struggling soon. But no, they go for Snarl. Okay. All my damage is coming from Body Press anyway. I'm burnt and I'm at minus one special attack, but I'm still doing damage with Body Press. And you just gave me another boost, so you're actually gone. That's amazing. I will be struggling to do damage to the Fluttermane, but that's what the Glastrier in the back is for. Glastrier I actually added to this team for Fluttermane. Didn't end up having room for Heavy Slam, but as you saw in the last match, Moonblast does not do very much. And now we've got a Chen Pao to worry about. Okay. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Sacred Sword will hurt the Archaladon, but I can Rage Powder that away. 
Um, both of you obviously would have protect. So I think what I want to do is a snarl of my own to break the sash and weaken up your flutter main a little bit. And just rage powder. I can't take a sacred sword with that that Archaladon. I can't afford to do that. Ra sacred sword into Sinistra ain't gonna do nothing. And yeah, you protect. I assume flutter main protects as well. No. Okay. So I do get the free drop on that. That's great. And hopefully seeing this Rage Powder will discourage the Sacred Sword? I don't really know. I'm gonna Moonblast into Sinistra. That did no damage. Okay, the snow is gone. So you no longer have a defense boost. Uh, you already Terrastalized. And you have Dragonite in the back. So Body Press is so free. So free. I will just go for the body press, and I will go for Machigacha just to finish off the sash. If Machigacha misses, uh, sometimes that happens. Glastrier can probably clean up this match anyway. We go for the Machigacha. We do miss. Who did we miss, though? Oh, no. We missed the Chen Pao. Oh, that is, that is not good. Ooh, that is bad, actually. Okay. And they go for the Sacred Sword anyway, but we live, and it doesn't matter because Burn will take us out from here. Or Dazzling Gleam will. Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. Alright. So, turn one of Trick Room... They protected their Chen Pao. Turn two of Trick Room, they attacked. We have two Trick Room turns left. Glastrier is definitely the way to go, but Ninetales is actually slower than both of them. I'm going to let Ninetales shine. We'll put the snow back up so we'll have more defense on Glastrier when it finally comes in. And our Aurora Veil vale has two more turns. Trick Room has two more turns. Great. All right, we will just fire off a Blizzard. And they're probably going to protect, uh, but I should just bring in Glacier at this point. So next turn, I'll have my last Trick Room turn, and they won't have any way to stop it. Let's go, Glacier. Uh Swapping out the Sinistra also allows me to get another Hospitality trigger at some point in this match on any one I need. And just a double protect. That is fine by me. You are going to be extremely pressured this next turn. Now I'm guessing they go for Sucker Punch, but an Ice type that resists behind Aurora Veil vale in Snow and an Ice type who is Glastrier. Uh, under a roar veil and snow that is not going to do much damage so i will blizzard and before i blizzard i will icicle crash so i will actually get the sort of ruin boost and so that should be enough to take out even a bulky flutter main uh the chen pao fails its protect the flutter main fails its protect good game sir let's go glass beer. and just gets the ko amazing They've successfully stalled my Trick Room, but they have a Dragonite, and that is it. This match has gone wonderfully last year. I hope you guys think is as amazing as I do. Uh, I have not gotten a curse off yet, uh, but you see, it has the same attack as Lander Ethereum. It does not need the boost most of the time. And then, did Aurora Veil vale actually end? Aurora Veil... Vale did end but it's in ko range if j just one of us has to hit it and it's over uh high horsepower is more accurate and the battle was canceled well that is match number three let's uh go and look at this rental code one more time all right and here we are back with the rental code uh, everybody hit the field everyone did great uh three matches and we went three for three with this Glacier and Suicune and Archaladon.
I had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, we never actually got a curse off with the Glastrier, uh, but he still did some great work in all of those matches. And we fought real powerful teams too. We fought Chen Pao Dragonite, we fought Chiyu Fluttermane, and we fought Psy Spam. When I'm not recording, I see silly teams on the ladder. I did not see any silly teams today. Uh, so I hope uh, you respect that I might have some skill with this team. So give it a try if you like it. Uh, I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace.